of a crane. Now, Ichabod was a tall, skinny man who was quick to use a ruler on naughty scholars. Ichabod didn't live in the town of Sleepy Hollow. To get to his house, he had to ride his skinny old horse through the woods. He had heard stories that there was some kind of a ghost that prowled through the woods. Be no stock in such tales. One night, Ichabod stayed in town very late at a party. As the evening wore on after lots of food and lots of cider, the folks started telling ghost stories, and they got around to talking about the ghost in the woods outside of town. The story was that the ghost was a rider on a big horse that actually snorted flames and smoke, and the rider, he was a huge man who had no head. Finally, it got to be very late, and it was time to go home. Now, old Ichabod wasn't exactly scared, but then again, he wasn't too keen on riding through those woods this late at night. Well, he got on his skinny old horse and started off for home. As he rode through the woods, the full moon shone with an eerie light, making all kinds of spooky shadows. An owl hooting in the distance didn't make him feel any better, so he urged his old horse to go a little faster. What was that? Was it a dog? Maybe a wolf? Suddenly, he caught a glimpse of a strange orange light, and it was coming straight toward him. Now, Ichabod was terrified. He tried to make his old horse go faster, but the strange orange light was coming closer and closer. Could it be? Yes, it was a rider on a horse. The horse seemed to breathe smoke and flames, and now the schoolmaster could see better. The horseman had no head. In fact, the rider's head was carried before him on the saddle, and he was laughing. The craziest laugh you've ever heard. The headless horseman was coming very quickly. Feel the heat from the horse's fiery breath. They raced through the woods. The goblin was laughing. Ichabod was screaming. It was some wild scene as they raced along the little trail that led to a little bridge near the church. Just as they came to the bridge, the headless horseman suddenly stopped. His horse reared up. And what happened next is the scariest part of the story. The goblin rose in his stirrups and threw his head straight at Ichabod. The next day, Ichabod's old horse was found near his master's gate. But the saddle was missing. Later on, down by the old wooden bridge, they found Ichabod's hat. And close beside it, a shattered pumpkin. Along this lonely, lonely road was this lonely, lonely hill. And not all stood this lonely, lonely house. And inside that lonely, lonely house was this creaking, squeaking stair. At the top of that creaking, squeaking stair, hallway. And down that long, long hallway was this flapping, clapping trap door. And above that flapping, clapping trap door was this crying, sighing attic and in that crying sighing attic was this shadowy shadowy corner and in that shadowy shadowy corner was this big old chest And inside that big old chest. Wow!